while I'm outside today. Oh, hey, you're awake. Yeah, we're on video. Yeah, so every morning for a couple hours, I take my kid and just, you know, walk around with him and he takes a nap on my back. And But I've been answering the same question again and again and again, and that makes me want to make a video. And so here I am on my phone outside with my... Hey. Want to be on YouTube? Huh. Here's the question we're going to answer today. If you have the DJI system in your quads, or if you're thinking about getting the DJI system, what's the best controller to use? Should you use the DJI controller or should you use something else? And that question is pretty simple to answer. The question is, are you gonna use 100% DJI quads? Or are you gonna mix and match DJI and non-DJI? Because there are some quads that you can't get the DJI Air unit into, or the G or even the Cadex Vista. Um, if you have, or, or maybe you just can't afford to put a DJI $180 DJI air unit in every single one of your quads. If you can't put the DJI air unit in a quad, then you can't fly it with the DJI controller. And then you will have to have another controller anyway, okay? So, if you plan to put the DJI air unit or the Cadex Vista in every single one of your quads, then it's a no-brainer that you should get the DJI controller. Or is it? The DJI controller is super easy to set up. It is super well integrated. You set it up in the DJI goggles, even things that you would normally expect to do with like the, the menus on a transmitter. It doesn't have any menus. The stick calibration, everything you need to do is done in the goggles. It's super easy to set up, but it's not super programmable. You know that thing I do where I put all my aux modes on one channel? There's a link to that down or in the somewhere. You can't do that with a DJI. You got eight channels and boom, that's it. Once you use up your eight channels, you're basically done. So it's a lot simpler, but it's also a lot easier to set up. But if you're gonna have any quads that don't have the DJI Air Unit or the Cadex Vista in them, then you've gotta have a second controller anyway, at which point I think the DJI controller makes a lot less sense. But the flip side is that in order to fly your DJI quads, with a third-party controller like the Jumper T16 or the FreeSky or the Spectrum or whatever you get, you're going to need to put a receiver in them, which is going to be another 20 25 or if you're doing Crossfire, maybe $35 for every quad. And the wiring, it's a little more wiring to set up. But what I do is I put Crossfire or FreeSky in almost all of my quads because I don't want to, I just don't have room in my backpack to take both the DJI controller and a Jumper T16 every time I go to fly. I just want to be able to fly with one quad. There are a few DJI bind and flies that I have that like the uh, the Gip RC Rocket or the Transtech Beetle that I fly. They just they're so small and just adding a receiver would be such a hassle that I just fly them with the DJI controller. But in general, I put Crossfire in most of my quads, Free Sky in a few of them. I use the Jumper T16 almost all the time. And that and that gives me the programmability that I want and the ability to fly any quad that I want. Also, Crossfire has way more range than the DJI system, so I, I still am in that situation where I really never have to think about fail-safing. Other pros and cons, I'm trying to think of them. If you do Crossfire, then if you lose video, you won't lose control. With DJI, if you're doing the air unit as both control and video, first of all, they are a separate link. You can lose video without control or vice versa, but the range is very similar between them. So by the time you lose video, you're probably going to fail safe the control link or vice versa. And that means that this idea that if the video gets sketchy, you could kind of like try to fly out of it if it's safe to do so. If you're using the DJI controller, that's not going to be as likely. The same thing happens if you, get, if you get stomped on. If somebody stomps on your video by powering up their analog transmitter too close to you, if you're flying crossfire, you may have some ability to like, if you get GPS rescue or anything like that, you may have some ability to like save yourself. Whereas if you're using the DJI controller, you're probably not gonna be able to do that. You're just gonna be done. So um, there you go. That's the pros and cons. The DJI controller is very good. It's very well made. The ergonomics are okay. The gimbals are actually pretty good. The battery lasts for freaking ever, and it is so easy to set up. Check out my setup video for the Gep RC Rocket Lite, which I'll link down below. You can see how freaking easy it is to set up. It's just, the other advantage of the DJI is, once you, it's the setup is the, exactly the same for every quad you get, because the, all the DJI systems are set up the same. So, it is really easy to use, 
but if you're not going to use it on every single one of your quads, then I think a third-party controller makes more sense. There you go. That's all. Now I've answered. You ready to go inside? Happy flying, everybody.